Hello everyone and welcome back to our podcast. I am Anahit Jaloyan, a level 1 student at the Global Forecasting School. And I am here today with my fellow student, Satani Gevorkian. Hi everyone! I'm really excited to talk about our unique experience at GFS and how this dynamic learning approach has truly changed the way we think and learn. So, Satanik, before we start, let me mention that on September 20 at 2 p.m. London time, we will host a seminar titled Inflation Targeting in India, a further assessment. The session will present a paper by Barry Aiken Green, professor at the University of California, Berkeley, and Pinam Gupta, director general of the National Council of Applied Economic Research. This session offers a timely opportunity to reflect on how monetary policy in India has evolved and what adjustments may be needed moving forward. We highly encourage you to join that session and participate in the discussion. It will be a key moment for evaluating India's monetary policy framework. So, Satanik, we've talked before about how traditional education often focuses on memorizing information from textbooks or preparing for exams. But here, at GFS, the learning process is so much more dynamic and hands-on. Exactly, Anahit. What sets GFS apart is how each day is designed to push us to think critically and learn by doing. Every morning, Doug Laxton gives us a challenging assignment related to economic concepts or policy analysis. That's right, and the expectations isn't that we'll get the right answer immediately. In fact, the idea is that we'll probably fail. But that's an important part of the process. By grappling with complex problems, we start to develop our own thinking, even if we don't get it right the first time. Exactly. And the amazing thing is how fast the process moves. Later in the day, Doug reviews the work, provides detailed feedback, and edits the text himself. He revises the explanations so that they are not just correct, but also easy to understand. Once Doug has finalized the text, it's passed to one of us, either me, Satanik, or another student like Asia or Miriam. We then create a video presentation where we explain the material in our own voices. Yes, and this is the key part. These videos become valuable training material. We are not just watching Doug explain things. We're actively engaging by presenting the information ourselves. And it's so productive. It takes only a few minutes to put together, but the impact is enormous. What's incredible is how fast we learn and how much we retain. By speaking and explaining the material ourselves, we internalize the concepts much more effectively than if we were just passively listening to a lecture. Exactly. Plus, the videos we create serve as knowledge that can be built upon. They're not just for us, they become part of the institutional knowledge base of GFS. New students can watch these videos, and because they're in our voices, they're easy to relate to. This process does more than just teach us foundational economics. It helps us develop critical thinking skills. Every day we are engaging with real-world problems, refining our solutions and learning to think deeply about economic policies. And the best part is that we're practicing this every single day. There's no room for passive learning or memorization. Instead, we're constantly pushed to think, reflect and improve our understanding in real time. Another key uh, to this method is a repetition. Every day we revisit the same concept, going deeper and deeper into the material. This isn't about memorizing facts, it's about truly understanding the why behind economic theories and policy recommendations. Yes, and by the end of each day we've produced something tangible, a video that captures our understanding. This builds confidence and competence in presenting economic ideas clearly and concisely, something that is essential in policy-making environments. The dynamic environment at GFS is what makes it so different. By engaging with complex problems and using cutting-edge technology like voice clones, we can quickly turn our learning into actionable knowledge. Yes, the use of clones helps us reflect on our work and even improve our English and communication skills. It's a real productivity booster. Taking just a few minutes to transform feedback into a video means we're constantly creating and learning at a very high level. So, in summary, the GFS learning model is all about thinking critically, engaging deeply with material and producing real, usable knowledge every day. It's a fast-paced, high-impact approach that we believe is revolutionizing the way economics is taught and learned. Exactly. 
It's been an incredible journey so far, and we're excited to see where it takes us next. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope this has given you insight into how we're learning and growing at GFS. Thanks for listening, and until next time, subscribe, like, and leave comment. We are expecting you for next time on our upcoming seminar about India's monetary policy.